well, right off the bat, I can tell this is a rugged device. This device actually has updates ready for it, so this device is going to be able to keep up with itself as things progress. How's it going, YouTube? Bronco Outdoors here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Sea Reader Elite from Launch. Uh, this is going to be particularly useful for your Ford vehicle, so I have a Bronco Sport. So we're going to take a look at what exactly this is capable of today and put it to the test. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now at the making of this video, this item's actually on sale 34% off, just under $120, super big deal, as well as has some promotionals running. So I picked up one of the OBD2 extension cables, but let's go ahead and crack this open and see what it's all about. All right, so it looks like we get a USB to USB-C connector cable. Well, right off the bat, I can tell this is a rugged device. I like this outer bumper that they put on the scanner. Uh, it's definitely gonna be able to handle some drops and, and dings around the shop. Uh, we have a pretty long OBD2 cable. Uh, didn't actually expect it to be that long. There's the connector there, nice and simple. I may not even wind up needing this, but that will definitely come in handy. You can see we have a pretty large display for you to interact with. This is a touchscreen display, so that's really nice. We have a little flip door that we can open up, and we can see that in there, there's a USB-C port, a micro SD card slot. We have some, uh, looks like dedicated hardware buttons, but let's go ahead and get this plugged in and see how it looks when we power it on. Well, let's head in the Bronco, and we got our scanner right here. So we're going to take our OBD2 connector and plug it in right underneath here. And I'll show you that a little bit closer, but first we're gonna go ahead and hit the brake and turn the car on. There we go. Now we can go ahead and take our OBD2 connector and we're going to go right underneath here. You can see that's the port right there. Really easy to find. We're just gonna take our plug and plug it right in. All right, let's get in here and take a closer look. Well, right off the bat, I'm noticing in the top right corner, there is a Wi-Fi symbol. So that means this device has Wi-Fi on board. Let's go take a look at that. If we hit the settings there, there you go, you see network. I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected to my home Wi-Fi. And there we go, we are in fact connected to my home network. We can see we have some signal strength there, which is pretty good considering I'm actually outside of the house right now. So we can go back here, we can see we have a couple options that we can configure. Uh, like the brightness of the display. Let's turn that all the way up. Wow, that's significantly brighter. That's awesome. Okay, so you're definitely going to be able to use this in direct sunlight because the uh, screen is nice and bright. We have time zone, language, uh, recovery cleanup, screen capture. So that's cool if you need to take a screenshot. Let's go ahead and check out what we have here. So we do have the mall, which is going to allow you to purchase extra additional features. Now this device is actually capable of a whole lot more. So you can see that you can purchase the actual package that you actually need, as well as if you need other vehicles, you can purchase them right here. You can purchase the ability to scan and service those vehicles. So now that we're connected to our Wi-Fi, we can go ahead and check in the upgrade section here to see what we have available. And that is awesome. This device actually has updates ready for it. So this device is going to be able to keep up with itself as things progress. We're gonna go ahead and hit update and it's just gonna begin downloading all on its own. Super, super cool. All right, so let's take a closer look at this diagnose section. So if we give that a tap, we can see we do have the auto detect uh, or we can go through each of the lists of uh, manufacturers. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and click auto detect. And look at that, as soon as I got on the Wi-Fi connection and tried to diagnose, the firmware actually updated all on its own. So that's that's awesome. Don't wanna buy something and then just be out of luck once, uh, once you take it out of the box. There we go, we can see it's picking up. It is a Ford, so we'll go ahead and tap on that. And we can see some information here that is correct. It is a 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Great, we'll hit okay. And let's start the detection here very readable display. Everything is definitely uh, crisp and clear and bright. Um, and here we go, we see some codes coming in here, coming straight off of my vehicle's computer system. So it looks like we found a fault code there. We're gonna wait for this bar to finish loading. It makes everything super user-friendly, especially if you're not familiar with vehicles uh, or diagnosing vehicles. This is definitely gonna be your best friend in helping you know what you're looking for, or at least what's wrong with your car. So here we have our basic diagnosis report on this vehicle. 
you can see it actually looks really official. Um, but here is the diagnosis report. We can see our ABS, our anti-lock braking looks normal. Audio control module looks normal. We have one abnormality here. And if we wanted to drill into that to see what exactly is going on, we can see our DTC code right here. So we're able to look that up uh, on the internet to see what exactly is wrong with uh, our vehicle. But we have a lot of items that this checks for we also get the ability to hit share uh, so we can send this report to whether a bigger screen, your customer, whoever it may be. You can go ahead and type in their email right here and you can see we have a familiar looking Android keyboard which uh, you can interact with there. So once we're at this report screen, if we want to drill in further, we know we can come here and get kind of a quick overview of what the issue is. But if we hit back, we can actually go in depth and see what exactly is giving us this fault code. So let's take a look at this one, BCMII, Body Control Module fault let's go ahead and tap on that it's going to pull up a more in-depth view of all of the information uh, that we're getting here so if we wanted to look at the module we can see what module it is we want to read the fault code so here we have two of our fault codes and if we tap on that it's actually doing some test on my vehicle I've never seen that before Interesting. <laughs> Just open the trunk. We can also clear the fault code. So we're gonna do a mass clear of all these codes by hitting clear code right here on the bottom. Yes, we're going to clear all of the codes on our vehicle, therefore producing a clean sheet, clean health report if you will, for our vehicle uh, and will allow our car to go through whatever testing procedure to run those tests again uh, to see if uh, whatever repairs we did worked. So back at the main menu, we're gonna go ahead and tap on this OBD2 section here, which is going to establish connection back to our vehicle. And it's actually going to give us a way more in-depth look at all of the sensors of our vehicle. So if we go ahead and let this connect, you can see it's waiting, matching, and connected we can go ahead and hit enter here and now let's go ahead and say read live data and let's just pick any one of these I'll go ahead and pick accelerator pedal position D E absolute throttle position that looks good for now and we hit OK so you can see some live numbers have come through I'm going to go ahead and push on the gas right here moving my accelerator and we're going to see these live values come through and as well as we have our RPM meter uh, right in the back there so you can also see it live here we go three two one Now that's awesome. Now if we want to actually have it over a graph to give us a more graphical look, here we go. We can go ahead and press the accelerator again. And there you can see an exact representation of what we did uh, by pushing down on the gas. So here I'll just do a quick scroll for anybody who's interested of everything that this is able to collect. That's actually insane. That's so much. Okay, looks like we reached the end there. As this review comes to a close, I do just wanna make sure I mention that there are so many more features that I have not been able to cover here today, like key immobilizer, able to program key fobs. Uh, that may be features that you have to go into the mall for, but still really, really cool that you can do it all from this little device. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass through all the pictures that they have on the listing so you can see uh, some of the stuff that this is capable of. Again, so many features, it would be almost impossible to cover them all in this video. But again, just an awesome device all around to be able to cover all of this so you can go ahead and pause it there if you do want to take a further look or you can go ahead and click the link in the video description uh, to see what exactly else this device is capable of so there we have it our quick overview of the c reader elite obd2 scanner uh, this particular one's for your ford but be sure to check the link in the video description uh, to see if they have one for your vehicle all things considered 
A device of this form factor, being able to do all the features that we just looked over, as well as keep in mind, we've only scratched the surface of what this device is actually capable of. So for the price that it is and the form factor, you could probably fit this in your glove box, no problem, and be able to do all of the things we discussed and more. Uh, I think you really can't go wrong, especially for the price being 34% off right now really don't think uh, you can go you can go wrong so be sure to check the video description for the link to this um, I'm really happy with this device I think it performed way better than I thought it would have um, so special thanks to launch for sending this review unit um, however all of my opinions that you've seen in this video have not been edited they didn't get a chance to see it first it's coming to you firsthand everything's honest here so thanks again so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video that's all I have for you today please have a great day thanks and bye bye